Hey guys, welcome back to the pop culture and hipster nonsense show. The top five, yeah, that stuff. Yeah, so I know I haven't been doing it a lot lately, but it's going to change hopefully. I'm going to do it a lot more, and I'm sorry if I sound really quiet. It's because it's nighttime in my building, <laughs> and my building technically has quiet hours. So let's hope that nothing goes wrong with this video. Yeah. I don't know if you like my new view or anything because I got the lights involved and you don't see the mess on the floor so I hope hopefully everything doesn't look as crappy as it actually does in real life <laughs> my room's a mess that's pretty much it so we're gonna jump right into the list this week sitting at number five we have um, a cover song that I have grown to love deeply in my soul a lot it's a really good cover because I love, it's a cover of a Kid Cudi song. I don't know if you ever listened to the Kid Cudi song, no, I mean, yeah, the Pursuit of Happiness featuring MGMT, but this girl did a cover of it and I can't get enough of it. Her name's Lee, 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 I think that's her name, but it's on the list if you go look at the list. But she does a cover of the song, and I am attracted to it. Like, it's a live performance of the song, and it's just beautiful, and I can't get enough of it. It's, it's one of those moments when you have to take to yourself, and you have to, like, collect yourself, or else you might shit yourself. Yeah, it's one of those songs. Yeah, so that's number five. Sitting at number four this week is um, a song that just barely came out this week. Um, this artist... Just barely came out with her new album. Everyone's like really skeptical of it. If you haven't guessed it by now, it's Lady Gaga's new album. I can't get enough of it. Like, it is such a gorgeous CD. I, I love it. Granted, some of the costumes that she wears are kind of crazy and everything. I'll give her that much, but her songs are really, like actually really good. And so sitting at number four this week, we have her song Dope. If you've ever listened to it, it's like a Simon Mello song about how, um, her struggles with addiction to drugs and alcohol and how she doesn't want that to affect her music and it's just a brilliant beautiful song so go listen to it it's a a lot of the songs just make my panties drop apparently but it's okay that's why it's the top five list right it wouldn't make the list if I didn't have a problem with my underwear after I listened to this song just pointing out facts, guys. Okay, so sitting at number three, yeah, that's what we're on. Okay, so sitting at number three this week, um, I've loved this girl ever since I first listened to her up when I was still in Wyoming. I can't get enough of her. She's brilliant and beautiful, and she, as you can tell, there's a lot of girls on my show this week, but I accept all of them because they're all beautiful, and they all deserve what they get. So. Sitting at number three this week, we have Marina and the Diamonds and her new song, uh, not a new song, it's on her album, uh, what is her album's name, Electra, Electra Heart, yeah, that one, but it's on that album, it's a brilliant song, the name of the song is called Starring Role, I just love that album, there's a lot of good songs on it, go listen to it, but Starring Role is like my new addiction song, it's, I found it on Tumblr, I can't get enough of it, and there's a car driving outside my window, but I'm accepting it, so... <laughs> I can't get enough of this song, like, it's beautiful, it's brilliant, it's everything you want in Marina Diamonds. She says the F-bomb, so if you're really skeptical about swearing in a song, don't even look at this list in the first place. Half the song say the F-bomb in it. Pretty much I'm a dirty person. Yeah, they're all good songs though, go check them out. So sitting at number two this week, you, it's a very underground artist, you don't really know him. He did a, he, this song was actually on um, the Battlefield 4 commercials. If you watch a lot of Battlefield 4 or you're a nerd like I am, I'm not going to really play Battlefield 4, but I see a lot of commercials for it. And the music they use for commercials for video games is actually quite brilliant. If you listen to it, and it's brilliant, because in Assassin's Creed they used a Woodkid song, and I love Woodkid. If you don't know that, you're probably not my friend but I'll accept you anyway, and we can probably become friends again as soon as you listen to what kid. But he's not on the list today. So his, the name of this guy is 
Alloy Beck. He sang Wake Me Up with Obviously. Yeah, it's not that song though. Like, the one. Wake me up when it's all over. When I'm first and I'm proud Yeah, that song. <laughs> I'm really good with the vocal articulation and everything, but yeah. So it's not that song. It's another song called Ticking Bomb. It's a really good song. It was used in the battlefield, like I said before, but it's just goodness and bluesy and it's just uh, delectable. So there's a boy on the list. I'll give you that much. I put one boy on the list, okay? And granted, he's black and he has an amazing voice. I'm not pointing out race. I'm just saying black people have critically amazing voices. That's it. Now that I've deleted like half my vlogs to finish this video, we can continue to my number one. Well, my number one this week is actually another one from the artist that has already been on this list, but I can't get enough of this song. This song's ridiculous. It's just beautiful in every way, shape, or form, and I just want to marry her. I, it's Lady Gaga again, if you haven't guessed it, but the ne the song on the top of my list right now is definitely Ara. Aura, Ara, Aura, Ara, Ara, I don't know. Ara, there we go. Yeah, one of those three pronunciations of the word Aura. Ara, or I could have this debate all night long. I'm really bad with pronunciations in the first place, so let's just continue. It's a really good song. It's really twisted and weird, but it's beautiful, and I just can't get enough of it, and it's crazy, and I love it. I want more of it, and I cry so hard when Lady Gaga takes about a year in between her albums. I don't even know if it was a year. She doesn't take that long to write her songs, but she should just come out with a new song like every month and I'd be satisfied for the rest of my life. You should probably do that, Lady Gaga. But Ara is a beautiful song. It's twisted, demented. It has um, a guitar. Um, I think it's an Arabic scale. I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for that because I'm a music major and I don't know the technical scale of it, but I think it's an Arabic where it's like an augmented minor. And that was my Voxer, but I'm going to continue anyway. And it's just a beautiful song, and it's crazy weird, and it has that dubstep hit in it, and it's just... Whew, I can't help myself. I'm sorry. I love you, Lady Gaga. Thank you for watching Pop Culture, um, Top 5 Pop Culture and Hipster Nonsense this week. I'll get better about it because it's on my goal list, and... You'll get a whole video about that later on in the week, I'm hoping. And so, yeah, go check the Top 5 Pop Culture list on uh, Spotify. I have a playlist go working on it and figure out what's going to happen next, hopefully. And I'm going to keep going with that. And so thank you for watching the video. Okay, bye. I'm not going to be a regular YouTuber. Peace, bitches.